Friends and boyfriends, welcome back to another video. I'm actually if you're new, and if you're not new, and you're already one of mine, hey girl, hey boy. I told you I was gonna call you back. I'm getting ready for church, y'all. I am getting ready for church. Whew, I'm tired. I feel tired. I am tired. I did a lot this weekend, so I'm just like tired. Very, very tired. But I have to go to church. Ernest is already <laughs> Is already there. I'm gonna try not to be like super, super late. I know I'm gonna be a little late because I still don't know like what I want to wear to church or nothing. I was gonna get my clothes out last night, but that was a fail. So I don't know what I'm wearing today to church, but I know I'm on my way there. I um, I need to get myself together for the week. In this vlog so that'll probably be like what we do for the majority of the vlog it's like get ourselves together i haven't had no water in my house in a week i've been having to like go to either go to the store and get like one or two at a time or go to like um like sunny can get a route 44 or you know somewhere and be like can i get a large water and that's just because I've been lazy. I have not felt like going into uh, the store. And y'all know I like Trader Joe's water. That's just, it's what I like. It's what I, I feel like it's really alkaline for real. Of course there are other alkaline, but I just like it. And for the price point and the liters that you get, I feel like it's worth it. So, um, I haven't felt like going to Trader Joe's to say the least. <laughs> That's really what's been happening. Let me put some primer on my face before I go. Because last time, girl, I was doing my makeup. I ain't had no primer up here. None. I should have did it before I did my brows. But I mean, it's cool. Because I like to let my primer sit on my face sometimes. Oh. Woo. Yes. Laura Mercier. I love their primer. It's, it's almost like milk, but not as... I don't want to say that. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say it's not as potent. Not, not potent, but like not as... I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Like, gripping as it is. Because this one is a hydrating primer, and baby, it hydrates. My, my skin is hydrated every time I put it on, so I feel so good about that. Y'all, your primer. Make sure you invest in you a good primer. Your primer set the base for your, for your foundation as well as works well with your skin. You don't want to be using nothing that your skin can't benefit from too. So, yeah. But, yeah, girl, I'm on my way. Um, to church. I wanted to stop. I wanted to like get up earlier. Oh my god. These brows are not going to take me out today. They are totally different today. Totally different. And that's fine. It's just I know I know where I messed up at. And it's like I can't come back from it. Because I like I don't I don't mm -mm. There we go. You ain't gonna be able to see my dog on eyebrows no way, child. I know one thing. When I get out of a church today, I want something good to eat, but I don't want to cook it. I don't think I'm in a space to be cooking anything <laughs> right now. I just don't want to cook it at all. And that's too because this week is gonna be like a, a slow week for me as far not slow week for me, but um what am I trying to say? A short week for me. 
as far as being here. And so I don't want to be cooking stuff that I got leftovers for and I'm just have to throw them away, you know. Even though nine times out of ten that's what happens anyway, like I just get be over it. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't eat leftovers, but I be over leftovers for real. So yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'll be back when we figure out what we're gonna wear or whatever. When we get in the car, sometime, whatever. I'm gonna be back though. I need to go and finish this because Ernest gonna get to. It's 9:40. Ernest gonna get to <laughs> calling and doing the most. And I ain't trying to hear it. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, my love. So I'm on my way to church officially now it's 10 30 i'm late i'm super late but it just is what it is um <laughs> i was trying to make it before people start texting me my friend just texted me when i get to church so um yeah that means ernest does say something so i am on my way there um now i had a like dilemma on what i wanted to wear i just went with the now ernest is texting <laughs> let's say in the parking lot they pulling up so um i had a dilemma on what i was going to wear i was going to initially go with like something really fallish like for the season but then some told me to check the weather i checked the weather and girl why is 70 degrees out here i would have been burning up i had on a turtleneck and then another turtleneck and then a vest i'm just gosh it's been cold so when I prepare the dress code it's always hot and then when I don't prepare the dress code then I be cold so I just I don't I don't I don't get the weather I don't get what be going on I don't I don't get it so I had to end up like switching my outfit I did a two-piece set last Sunday and I was like mm, I don't want to do another two-piece set but here I am. I did this two-piece set, and then I just have on some. They're red and pink. You can't really. Well, yes, you can. You can tell. They're red and pink earrings. Y'all know I'm an earring girl. I love my earrings. I don't play when it comes to that. I do not play with my earrings. Like I am. A, I will wear a statement piece you to death. <laughs> sure will. I will statement piece you to death. I'm like one of those girls. And then my mama, she's like, my mama's totally opposite from me. So she be like how do we get on this conversation first of all but anyway since we're here um she, she be like oh you wearing them out i'm like yeah she was like we're just going here well for me i'm just not a little small earring girl i can't do it i do have small earrings like studs and then i have some smaller earrings but those smaller earrings never get never get worn ever they never get worn when I tell you, they just sit there, collect dust. I should just give them away. They never get, get worn. So, um, yeah, I'm a statement piece shooter dev. I have all my, mostly all my earrings. My whole earring collection is statement pieces with the exception of a few. So, if I can't wear a big earring, then I don't know. I just don't know. Now, my earrings for an event I have coming up, they're kind of big. They're on the big side, but they're not like super, super, super big. I'm going to wear those because the the dress that I'm wearing is doing a lot. But normally I wouldn't care because <laughs> I'm going to make a way to make to, to wear a statement earring. Um, statement earring. So it just is what it is. So, yeah, y'all, I'm pulling up to church. Ernest is texting me. She is texting me, child. Oh, my God. And then the light just caught me. I'm like, right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, I know you're going to have some stuff. I need to snap me up some selfies before I go in. I be forgetting to, like, take pictures and all that stuff sometimes. When I be real, 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 real cute, girl. Then when I be looking toe up, want to take some pictures. I don't understand. So, yeah. Um, pulling up, I'll toss y'all after church. I'm gonna bring y'all for real. I'm gonna let y'all hear a little snippet of service. I always say that, but I never do it. But I'm gonna let y'all hear a little snippet of service today. I promise. And um, then I'll talk to y'all again after church is over. So I gotta get my mind right. So let me get my mind right for a service, and then um, I'll talk to y'all after church. <laughs>
we are at a church. Ernest got us about to go try this freaking buffet. I am not a buffet eater. I am my mama's child. My mama hates a buffet. And I, I would eat it though. Because, only because like growing up, my daddy, he loves buffets. Like him and my mama are polar opposites. My daddy loves buffets. He hates, she hates them. So I would go with my daddy. But now that I'm older and I ain't, you know, just trying. But my daddy, he, I still would go to a buffet with my daddy. Because I know that's what he likes. But I don't be trying, I don't be checking for no um, how was that? Hotel, buffet like this. My earrings, the backs fell off in church. I didn't have the right backs on them to begin with. These are heavier earrings, so you have to have a heavier, a heavy duty bag. And I ain't had it, child. So they fell off, and I'm just gonna leave them off, cause yeah. yeah. So we about to go to eat at the buffet. I'm trying not to get too full because I still gotta go get waters and stuff for the week. I I had need some water in my in my house. I cannot go without water. I need to go get me some fresh flowers. I need to do all that. I need to straighten up my house from doing all this stuff that I've been doing over at my house these past few weeks. Like collecting product, not products, but collecting boxes. And you know, I just had so many shipments, so many things just coming. So I just need to clean my house up and just straighten my life together. So we about to go. Hopefully this is a good buffet he heard about it from somebody at his job and we just asked one of our church members she was like oh it's good it's okay so hopefully it's okay and um you know it is tasteful because buffet food can sometimes not be tasteful so hopefully it's tasteful you know oh i feel like i need a snack or something Cause I feel like the line is going to be extremely long. It's Sunday, so you know, anytime Sunday comes around, everywhere gonna be packed. Everywhere, so um, we're about to go get we're about to go get the table. Ernest is actually in a meeting. They had a meeting called a meeting after church for his the ministry that he serves on. So he's in a meeting right now, and I am trying to fend for myself with some food. I should have brought, I was so hungry in service. Girl, usually I be having something, some Pringles, some candy, something. I didn't have anything this time. And I don't know what it is about just, well, I guess it, to, be to be quite frankly honest, I do eat around like this time or around that time. I, I have been done like eight something. So I guess that's why. But I be always wondering like why do I be so hungry in service? But that's because I usually eat around that time anyway. So yeah. But I was just checking in. Um we're gonna go eat. I'm about to go pick up Trinitra and she's gonna eat as well. She's gonna ride with me this time. So we about to go eat and then I'll come back to y'all after we eat. I'm not gonna come back before then because I'll come back to y'all <sighs> after because I feel like I need an after church now. That's what I feel like. So yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll call you back. So I think it was a couple of hours ago. I told y'all I needed to come in here and get ooh, some transfer tape. See this one was that strong group stuff. I ended up getting some strong grip tape. Wait a minute. It don't even say. I need to make sure. I need to make sure I'm not getting strong grip. Because the one I got is too damn strong. And I don't need. I wonder do I have just the regular one at home then? Yeah, strong grip. See, I just need this kind. Let me show you the difference. So the one I got. It was strong grip. That stuff was gripping really, really bad. But this one is just the regular one. So I'm going to get the regular one. I think I have the regular one at home. But just to make sure, I'm going to get it. Because I don't want no problem. It's none whatsoever. Let's go to pick it, Julie. We're going to get this. 
out of here. I had to come get this though while I was in here because I need to finish some stuff. I think it was a couple of vlogs back or maybe one. I don't know when y'all gonna see it. But um, I couldn't finish what I had. I need to also get some more white because I think I want to redo some stuff. So let me get another white. Yeah, another white one. Cause I think I want to redo. I don't know though, we'll see. Just in case I need to redo it too, I want to make sure that I have enough to redo it. So, um, I'm trying to make sure I don't need anything else out of here. I don't believe I do. All right, so we gonna get this and then we gonna go to, over to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's was so hectic. Oh my gosh. Like so many people were in there. Y'all know on Sundays they are like super packed. But they were like beyond packed today. Like it's crazy. It's like all the people just convened in there. The people that shopped there regularly. The people that wanted to just try stuff. Like it was just people everywhere. And I get it. Like hold on. And yeah like I get it. You want to try things every now and again, but today I don't think I was just up for it. Like people were standing in in just in inconsiderately standing in places that you know traffic goes through. So if you are just standing there, you're making it very very hard, like extremely hard for others to navigate around you. So if you don't know what you want. Just at least you can stay in the same vicinity of whatever you're looking for. Just move to the side. Girl, that wasn't happening. That wasn't happening at all. And I'm just, I'm, I'm standing here confused because I'm like, I know I, I'm not the only one with manners. And it's not just one person did it. It's multiple. Like multiple people were just standing. <laughs> just standing there looking at products. Yes, they have new products. Yes, this is your first time. You've never been here before. We get that. Just move to the side. I know you've been to a grocery store in your lifetime. You know there's a lot of traffic. Just move to the side. Move to the side. One lady was just standing there so long. Like, I just... It took everything in me not to just... Excuse me, like... With an attitude. I just simply said, Excuse me, can you move over to the side? I'm trying to get, get you know, get by. Oh, oh, I didn't notice I was in the... You didn't notice, but everybody around you are ha asking you to move over, scoot over. Excuse me, you didn't notice? Like something will click in your head and tell you, okay, well, let me just scoot over a little bit. Especially if numerous of people are asking you, so whatever. I'm about to go home. Um, I went to Joanne's, like I said, and I got this stuff. I'm about to go home and try to do that, but I might just chill out for a little while because... For the rest of the day, I have to do like manual work. <laughs> and that's cleaning, y'all. I have to clean my freaking house. I don't know about you, but it's just something about a clean house when you start a new week. Clean house, period. First of all, I don't like coming home from work with clutter everywhere. Like if that's the case, I should just stay at work. Not that work is cluttered, it's just your home is just is your space. Like that's your safe space. So you want that to be clean. At all times, whenever, however. So, yeah, I'm going home. Ooh, it's getting dark outside. It's only 5 o'clock. Hmm. It's that time. <laughs> it's that time of y'all. love this time of y'all, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to go home and chill out for a little bit. We ate at that buffet. That food was not good. That food was not good. 
it wasn't good at all. Like, n I'm not gonna lie, the meatloaf was okay. The meatloaf was okay. They had little slices of pizza. I ended up eating something like that, but other than that, that food wasn't good at all. And I'm not looking forward to ever going there ever again. Well, I'm looking forward to never going there ever again. Put it like that. It was horrible. So I got some hot chips at home. <laughs> I've been on hot chips real bad. I got some hot chips at home. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat my hot chips and I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna finish watching Lupin. I think I'm done. But if not, then I'll finish watching Suits. Suits and Lupin, I've been hooked on them. And the new Surviving Paradise, I finished that in like a weekend. But Suits and Lupin, that is something that I have been loving. Like I love those, so. Um, yeah, girl, I'm about to go home nonetheless. So I'll see y'all when we get to the house or something. I just, I gotta chill out for a minute. My social meter is like very, very down, which means my energy is very low. <laughs> so I need to facilitate some things on my end. So let me chill out. Let me chill out for just a second. So me and Ernest, we decided to tackle the house together and he don't be liking to be on camera so i just said whatever i'm not gonna worry about it y'all it's much 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 later in the day i'm about to take this makeup off my face <sighs> this video didn't really go as planned i mean ernest actually made me throw away my lilies which i'm so mad about well he got them on the balcony but i'll bring them in tomorrow possibly he said that smelled like funeral flowers <laughs> so he said it was like getting on his nerves to smell and girl i got one had one uh eyelash i'm like y'all look like what the hell but um he said <laughs> that they were smelling like funeral flowers and they were just kept making him feel sick to his stomach so he put them out on the balcony and i haven't brought them back in so, I'm really mad about that because now I'm just like, well, I don't want to put them in there if, if he's going to be like, they stanky. So, whatever. But we tackled this whole house. I'm so happy. Teamwork makes a dream work. That's why I be telling him, but men don't be understanding. I still haven't put up my stuff from Trader Joe's. Y'all know I just got me some waters, the pickles of the waters. And then they finally had the pizza crust in. So, I'm going to be making the Berea pizza soon pretty 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 soon probably during the week or something i don't know but i got this because i have been waiting they have had that like out of stock for a minute and then of course i just got an onion and some limes onion and some limes they were out of cilantro so i didn't get any cilantro and Quite frankly, I don't want to have to go back in the store, period, this week. So, we might do without the cilantro on our pizza. But I love cilantro, so I don't know. I might make, a, make you know, my be making my business to get one. And then I got some seedless grapes, too. They in there. I don't feel like it. Let them out. But got some seedless grapes. So, yeah, we'll have the pizza sometime this week coming up. I don't know when. I don't know. I didn't do my stuff that I needed to do for my Cricut. I'll probably do that a little bit later. I just don't feel like it right now. And that's fine. Um, I'm about to take this makeup off my face. And I am kind of debating if... I'm going to close the door for Ernest B. Cussing me out. I think I want to do me just a little mask on my face or whatever. And do me a little self-care tonight. I'm trying to debate if I want to do self-care. It's late. I'm ready to get into bed. My makeup is super duper duper old. I have my contacts in. <laughs> Girl. The face is giving. The hair is giving though. My hair has been like this for about a week. And the hair is still very, very luxurious feeling. Like luxury. Like it's very. I love it. I haven't been sleeping on it, so that's a plus. And I put it up at night. That's a plus. Let me show y'all for the people that's new, you know. I'm gonna update y'all what I do on my face. I'm gonna show y'all my night care, my night skincare routine. Let me go get my stuff. I'm gonna have to take a bath though before I put it on, cause I just I don't do the makeup. I mean the 
the skincare before getting in the shower I just feel like the my showers be so hot the hydration that just went into my face goes out so but I'm still show y'all what I do matter of fact let me get in the shower I'm gonna show you what I do to my face Alright, so I'm out the shower now. All clean. And I'm about to start my skincare. My skincare is very, very, very important to me. I don't play. <laughs> I don't play my pores. You don't see my pores. My makeup lays so nice on my skin. I don't play when it comes to my makeup. Now, usually I use clean skin club. I'm out. So I gotta use paper towels which i'm dreading using on my face but they'll be here my new um towels they'll be here wednesday so that's not too bad but i just hate like when i say hate i really hate using anything but that on my face i've been using it on my face since 2019 so no 2000 yeah, at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. I really started using it around COVID time. So, yeah, that's um, how long I've been using it. And I don't use anything else on my skin. When I say don't use anything to wipe my skin off, no towels, no nothing, I have not put a towel on my face since 2019. And my skin has thanked me for that. I didn't know how many germs and bacteria stayed and stuff like that, girl. So. I'm a big advocate for Clean Skin Club. I need to get some, hold on. Huge, huge advocate. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do me a mask tonight only because I haven't done one all week. I try to do my mask two times a week. If you know me, you know what my mask is. It's the A-H-A-B-H-A, -A -A -A. I call it Aha Baha. <laughs> and um, that's the mask I use, it's a red mask full of I think retinol I don't know y'all don't quote me but I just feel like those masks those cucumber masks and things like that I just feel like they don't work for real like it's just me um it's my opinion I just feel like it's just for like cutesy vibes or whatever when I put the aha baha on my face like I actually feel it like working so I don't know I just feel like those other ones are just for aesthetic purposes and whatnot they probably do work don't get me wrong like I said it's just my opinion but for me I like to see like my mask actually working like not just the sheet mask but like I can literally see that product working on my face so and if you don't know what I'm talking about this is this I put it on after I clean my skin it is this by the ordinary and I use it like twice a week. I try to use it twice a week. I don't always use it twice a week. Just because sometimes I just don't be feeling like dealing with the motions of waiting. Because you have to put it on for 10 minutes and wait. I don't be feeling like a girl. But what I do use, y'all see I got a full face of makeup on. This bad boy. I talk about this so much. So much. Clinique did that big one with this like. This is the only thing I use to take my makeup off. The only thing. And I know, I know, I know. If you've been here, you know I talk about this all the time. I just can't never stop talking about it. It's just that good. Like, I have so many of these. Well, two. <laughs> I have two of these bagged up just in case because I never want to run out of it. Like, ever. It's definitely worth the money. If you're using makeup wipes on your face, you got to stop. <laughs> you got to stop. It's like an oil-based cleansing. And literally, if I didn't want to, I'm going to wash my face. Like, that's something I'm going to do at all times. But if I didn't want to, I wouldn't have to with this because it's that good. Like, it is that good. It's literally going to get all my makeup off. Every single bit of my makeup off. And I, this is why I really hate that I did my makeup and I don't have any skin cleans clean skin club towels <laughs> because those towels work effectively with these paper towels they will still work I just feel like they're too soft when it comes to taking off this oil based type stuff but when I tell you girl this thing works wonders I love it 
and then like my my hands you know how like when you're washing your hands off with makeup or whatever or you get makeup on your hands it's kind of hard to get off because you know the foundation and everything on your face has oil in it girl I put my hands under the water it instantly comes off it's like a I got my eye closed because I got makeup in my eye but it's like a like the water is anti-oil or something I don't know but it automatically comes off and I love it Oh, I hate taking this off with a paper towel. Paper towels are just too soft. Don't get me wrong, Clean Skin Club is soft too. It's just, it's made for this. Paper towels ain't made for this. Oh, you can't tell me. I don't care what nobody to say. I could wear a bra and be comfortable because my bras are protect, like typically comfortable. But it ain't nothing like taking your contacts out after a long day of having them in all day long. Y'all see how the makeup come off my there? It's like off. <laughs> a makeup wipe could never do that. It really could never do that. And that's why I'm such a strong advocate for this stuff. And I don't even be like checking for like makeup well I have my select ones but I don't think I talk about anything as much as I talk about the take the day off bone I don't think I talk about anything more than I talk about this so if y'all don't believe me about nothing else you gotta believe me about this cause baby I'm gonna rant and rave about this every time every single time and I don't know when I discovered this it was a while ago like a while back maybe 2000 I don't know I was in college I was in college but girl hmm. and that, that makeup is off I busted my that makeup is off my face like off my face alright so um only reason I'm doing this is cause I got asked girl your skin looks so good you're so glowy what do you use and y'all know my products when I find products that I like I do not change like the changing is beyond me oh my god I busted it but changing is beyond me I don't like changing my products especially when I don't found something that works for me so I'm gonna tell y'all what I use first we're gonna go through the whole process so I use this I use the acne foaming cleanser by CeraVe and I use it with my four year dupe this is from Target. It's by Plum Beauty and it's a Foreo dupe. It does amazing for my skin. Ugh, I feel like it's just bleeding. And then, um, so I do this first. I go in with the Foreo with this and then on top of it I go with my hands with this Renewing Cleanser. It's a, I think it's Solidic Acid. Yeah. The Solidic Acid Cleanser. So I use these interchangeably and my skin loves it. So I just go in and do what I do with this thing and get it on. Alright, so the face is clean, all done. And usually at this point, um, when I'm not doing the mask, I go in with my toner, but I'm doing the mask. So you want to make sure your skin is super, super dry because this does have exfoliant in it. It is a peel mask. It's not going to, not a peel mask, but, um exfoliating mask. So it's like real chemicals on your face, like real. <laughs> so you want to make sure your skin is not exposed. I'm not going to put anything probably like right there. Well, I might. I don't feel like it's going to do too much, but I just like to go in and I like to put this all over my face. I do not touch my tips at all with my skin because, girl, that's just, that's not sanitary. Whether it's your skin or it's not, I do just drizzle it on there, but try not to be putting, I hate when girls like use their tubes and then put it on, like put this part on their face. I hate that. That defeats the purpose of the freaking tube. Yeah, I'm not gonna put them right there. I'm actually gonna 
I got a little bit on it, but it's okay. But these are the type of masks that I just like to use. I don't know. I feel like they work. <laughs> and when I use this, my skin, it's like my skin gets a pick-me-up. Like an ultimate pick-me-up. And it's, I, I promise you, I say this all the time too, it's not the placebo effect, but I think I have my eyes. I was going to say that's going to be bad. Um, it's not the placebo effect, but I can definitely feel and see a difference in my skin almost immediately when I use this. And that's what had me so hooked on it when I first ever used it was that I saw a change in my skin immediately. Like, it was immediate. And I don't keep this on my skin for nothing but about 10 minutes. I typically... When I don't feel like just waiting the full 10 minutes, I just wait 5 minutes. But I like to make sure that it's on my skin enough time for it to actually work. So, don't be putting it on for one, one minute or so. Like, you want to make sure that it has time to do what it's supposed to do for your skin. It is a 10 minute mask. So, don't leave it on your face. It ain't going to do nothing extra for your face after 10 minutes. Okay, take it off your face. This is real chemical, baby. <laughs> and I keep saying real chemical because it really is like it is. yes and you see I'm avoiding like my eyebrows and stuff like that I don't want to put it in my eyebrows just put it on the face my eyebrows ain't got nothing to do with my eyebrows what time is it grab Dang, it's 104. So we're gonna let this sit on our face to 114. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rinse it off um afterwards. I'm about to watch finish watching my video. I'm watching BJC V. I know I love them. <laughs> so I'm watching them and then um yeah, I'll be back to y'all at 114. Alright. It's been a couple of minutes. Well, yeah, a couple of minutes, ten minutes. You see how it's you probably don't see that, but I feel it. So, we about to wash this off. It's been 10 minutes. I don't play that. Hold on. Alright. Regular schedule program now. So, we're done with that. So, we're going to go in with our toner. I go in with the Clinique number 2. As you can see, a cycle. I use a lot of Clinique and CeraVe. It's just what works for my skin. First time I use a no, what, CeraVe? I used CeraVe in middle school for the first time. And then I stopped. I always went with a, with a cotton swab too. I don't play that. I don't play that. <laughs> I go in with disposable products on my skin. And we just gonna go in with that toner. And I love this for my face. Oh my God. It's like the best. The absolute best. But um, my first time using it. And then you can tell my... It's white. Like, don't play with me. My skin routine is A1. <laughs> but, my first time using CeraVe was in middle school, I believe. And then I stopped. Of course, middle school, you ain't just really checking for no skincare routine like that. So, I let it go. And then, um, I'm going to do another cotton swab too. Let it go. And in my adulthood, I have been loving it. I've been using CeraVe on my skin since I was in undergrad. So, back again. So, yeah. It's just in my repertoire. And then Clinique, the first makeup, like, professionally ever done, like, at a counter that I got was Clinique. And they used some products on my skin when I was in high school. Girl. And, of course, I didn't use them right then, right there. But, as I grew older, I started going back to my roots instead of, like, trying all this stuff, like, drugstore. And, you know, nothing is wrong with that if you use that. It's just not my preference. And, you know, we trust all these beauty brands with our makeup for our faces. Why we don't trust them with our cleansers and our toners for our skin? So, I went back to my roots, baby, because Clinique has the best skincare to me like the best so I went back to my roots and 
I've been hooked ever since. So we're gonna let that dry. I just like to, it dries fairly quickly. It's almost dry now, but I just like to fan it sometimes or just let it dry, I, you know, clean up my area while I'm doing it or whatever. But I like to let it just completely dry in my skin. That way I know it's in my pores, it's in my system, like my skin cell system. I, I, I need it in there because it does what it does and it does what it does well. Okay, and then I go in. Now this is like one of the higher end products. So a lot of my skincare things are high end, but this is like really high end. This is like $80 a bottle, but it's worth it. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. When I tell you this is like, if you've ever used milk primer on your face, this is like the milk primer of skincare. It's going to grip your skincare and hold on to your skincare. And while it's doing it, it's also doing things for your skin. Of course, you know, making your skin tight and lifted and, you know, all those things. But I really love it for the gripping factor that it gives. Like, it grips my moisturizer. When I say grip, it grips. It's literally the milk primer of skincare. And I appreciate this so much. It is pricey. It's $80 for this bottle. And this is the medium size bottle. I think the small mini, I don't know how much that one is. I never get that one and I won't lie to you. But the medium one is 80 And as you can see, it's not that big. But I always end up getting that one. I think the large one is like 200 something. And every time I run out, I be... <laughs> too far gone to like order it the big one you have to order it they don't always have it in store and so i be too far gone so i have to end up getting the 80 so i just always get the 80 dollar one anyway and then i go in with this moisture surge by clinique as you can see like i told you there is a pattern <laughs> i use the same things on my face the same things and this moisture surge has done wonders for my face I was using CeraVe's moisture, but I just found out, like, for my skin, you just have to assess your skin. And that's what I tell the girls that are always, you know, asking me about my skincare. You have to assess your own skin. Like, I can tell you all day, go get these products, go get these products, go get these products. But these products may not work for your skin the same way they work for mine. And while CeraVe, they have things that work for my skin, their moisturizer just doesn't keep me moisturized enough for me. And so I went back to Clinique <laughs> and really I got invited to an influencer event and they gave us the moisture surge to try. We did a demo and I was hooked. And then I came home and I started using it and I was even more hooked. So I have to use this on a regular basis too. Like this is something that I would never stop using because my skin loves it. My skin flourishes with it like flourishes and I'm very appreciative for being introduced to this because um, I always used to see it but had I not demoed it I probably wouldn't know the benefits that it gets like my face feels so good with that on like so good and then I always top off mine now you don't have to do this but I just like to top mine off with the plantarized squalene by ordinary this is what it looks like I like to do that because it gives me that finished look that I'm looking for like I, I like to go sleep shiny Okay, my mama used to rub Vaseline on my face. <laughs> now, while I don't go out in the morning all shiny like this, I do put some on my face in the morning, but I don't be like this. <laughs> I like to go to sleep extra moisturizing. This just does wonders for my face, too. This is a really good moisturizer. Like, super be good, super, super good. I started using this around COVID time, so probably around, like, 2019, 2020. Like I told y'all, my... My stuff, my skincare has been the same <laughs> for years. And that's just because it works for my skin. Like, I, here and there, I'll change things, like, in my skincare. But I always go back. Always. Because I just feel like nothing compares. Nothing compares. And I just, you know, dip and dabble. Because as things come out, you want to try them. But, girl, nothing compares to when you find the perfect thing for your skin. So, I love to put this on my skin. Because, look at my face. Like, look yes ma'am it, it speaks for itself it's so moisturizing so moisturizing so nourishing and put your serum on last y'all and then girl i can't go to sleep without this so i'm putting on my lineage 
and <laughs> that is it for skincare. My skincare may feel like it's a lot for some, but when you care about your skin, you'll do the you'll do the steps. Like I'm not saying everybody needs to have a ten step ten step um you know skincare, but mine I about I have about five or six steps, and I appreciate them the more and more that I do them. I appreciate my steps. So. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do an update because someone had asked me about that and I was just like, you know what, I have some on my on my page, but it don't hurt to just show again. It don't hurt to give you an updated little little razzle dazzle, even if it is the same. It don't hurt. It doesn't hurt. I'm done with skincare. I'm gonna drink some water. I don't know why, but like at night. I think it's because my showers be so hot and like my area just be so hot at night. But girl, <laughs> I be so thirsty. So thirsty. My skin looks so good. <laughs> my skin looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, y'all. This was only supposed to be like a spin a day with me. But the spin a day with me ended up being, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I know we spent the morning together, but as far as between getting out of church, going out to eat, then coming here, cleaning up together with Ernest, girl, it wasn't much of let's let's spend an evening together, let's spend a day together. And I wasn't expecting Ernest to feel like cleaning up, but when a man feels like cleaning up, baby, we gonna clean up because men don't always feel like cleaning up, especially that one. He don't always feel like cleaning up, so when he feel like cleaning up, I take full advantage. Okay, so um, I said, well, let me just forfeit that because we were gonna, you know, do a little reset. So let me just forfeit that and clean with my man, and that's what we did, and we tackled it, we got it done. So. Yeah, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. It's 1 o'clock. I have to get up in the morning. So, I should be asleep. I should. So, yeah. Anywho, I love y'all real, real, real bad. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. If y'all don't know that, now you know, baby. I love you bad. Real bad. And there's nothing you can do about it. Period. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you have not liked this video, please like this video. It helps me a lot. And if you have not subscribed, please go to subscribe so I can officially become your girlfriend. And as always, in true Ashley fashion, I'll call you back. Bye.